Hello, welcome to Dungeon Draws Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, we're reviewing The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, the 2001 film by Peter Jackson, starring uh, Elijah Wood, Sean Astin, Vigo Mortensen, Orlando Bloom, and Ian McKellen, right? And, uh, and those are pretty much... Well, you got John Reese davies as Gimli, Kate Blanchett as Get, uh, Galadriel, Billy Boyd as Pippin, Took, which I had no idea that was Took's name. <laughs> I thought Took was an insult. <laughs> you also got the guy from Lost uh, uh, as Mary, right, and Christopher Lee as Saruman, Hugo Weaving as Elrond, Sean Bean as Boromir. Ian Holm as Bilbo, right? So, uh, yeah, so usually this, oh, also we're playing the Lord of the Rings game, the, fir, the Third Age, right? Which is a game that's obviously kind of, it, not only is it bit like a Lord of the Rings game, but it's also a turn-based RPG, because turn-based RPGs, were fit, were like you know um, big at the time. They decided to make a Lord of the Rings game that was you know an RPG, and just just like a lot of Lord of the Rings games, this is it's, it looks like it's including footage from the movie, <laughs> right? So yeah, the reason why we're doing this video is because usually last year for Fantasy Month. We did a we did a bunch of for last year in November we did fa fantasy month where we reviewed like a bunch of fantasy movies and novels and manga and and some anime and usually every year I would read a fantasy novel right uh, but like this year I didn't do any I didn't do anything right so I thought. A, uh, we should at least review one movie for, for November, and I decide I'll watch The Lord of the Rings Extended Cut, which, uh, which was three hours and 48 minutes, <laughs> but the last 20 minutes, the last 20 minutes was, um, we should skip this stuff. <laughs> Here's the actual gameplay. So yeah, so uh, yeah, so the last twenty minutes was all credits. So if I had known that the last twenty minutes was credits, I would have stayed up late to to finish watching the movie, the movie to review it, right? So yeah, obviously for people who don't know, Lord of the Rings is based off the famous novels by J.R.R. Tolkien, right? Oh, in this game you play a sh a shoulder a shoulder. Fuck, a, a soldier of Gondor, which a lot of the characters from this games are pr basically like carbon copies of characters from the the movies. Like your your character here is like basically Boromir, a copy of Boromir, right? You also have like Gimli and like you know. Uh, Oh man, they just, I forgot they one shot you in this game. <laughs> one cool thing about this game, for people who don't know, is that it's one of the early PS, PS2 games where you can actually equip pieces of armor and, and weapons and would show up on your character. Not a lot of games did that at the time, aside from like, you know, uh, uh, Morrowind, right, for the Xbox. But yeah, a lot of J JRPGs, you know, uh, even today there are a lot of JRPGs where like you equip wet wet armor and it doesn't show up on their on your character, right? Yeah. So the the so to get we'll, we'll start with the what, what's the story of the Lord of the Rings, right? So the Lord of the Rings is basically the story is basically it takes place in Middle Earth. Um, Right, uh, there was this great war between 
the the witch king Sar uh, Sauron, who crafted these rings of power that control the minds of of uh, the king of kings, who also had carried around who also carried around similar rings of powers, but be. He has, he has the one he has the one ring right that can rule them all. <laughs> one ring to rule them all. <laughs> Before I did the review, I I made a mistake and watched the. Uh, what was I think we got an item. Uh, we got I think we got a shield. Yeah, we got a Gondorian shield. Oh yeah, fuck. Which this is the shield that um, Boromir had, right? So yeah, um, th yeah, you had this Sauron had this one ring to roll them all right, uh, and like he st he waged a war uh, against the. Um, Against the races of uh, the of the free peoples, right, which are elves, um, man, uh, dwarves, and you also have hobbits, who are like the lazy, <laughs> lazy race, who doesn't really do anything but eat and like drink beer all day and smoke pipe pipe weed. That was one of the lame lamer jokes of the movie. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta, I gotta do something about the, I didn't notice, sorry, I didn't notice how dark it was on camera, All right, so, so, yeah, so like you, so the, the races all came together 3,000 years ago to fight Sauron, um, Isildur, son of the king, whose, whose father was, uh, who was the king of Gondor, right? Whose father was killed by Sauron. He put he picks up his father's magic sword, and it, that broke and cut cuts off the the ring finger, uh, the fingers off of Sauron's hand. Which one of the fingers was the the ring of the the one ring, right? So that leads to like Sauron being defeated, right? But Instead of destroying the ring, right, like they were supposed to, the ring corrupts the minds of men, right? So, like, you know, Isildur became corrupted by the ring and eventually was killed, and the ring was eventually found by a hobbit. I forget his real name, but, like, you know, he became Gollum, right? Who became this weird, immortal creature, uh, twisted creature, which Bilbo f finds the ring off of Gollum, right, which, uh, you can see in the prequels, right, <laughs> oh, man, you also have skill trees in this game, for people who don't know, all right, um, yeah, we're not gonna focus on stats, since we're gonna, you know, Didn't I get, like, a necklace or something? What the fuck? Whatever. Alright. So, yeah, what, what's up happening is that, you know, um, Bilbo, years later, he's an old man. He's having his 111th, uh, 11th year birthday, right? I think it was 11, right? And... Uh, he, he, he's planning on leaving the Shire after the party, right? And he plays this stupid joke on everybody where he, he puts on the ring of, the ring of power. And when normal people wear it, it makes them go invisible, right? But it's invisible to everybody but <laughs> the forces of Zaron, right? So like he acts it because because he did that right. Sar 
the forces of Zar Sauron know where the ring is, and if they can find the ring, they can bring back the Dark Lord, Sauron, right? Which would be very bad for all the free folk, right? So, obviously, Gandalf the Grey, who was friends with Bilbo, see, who's one of the wizards of this world, which there are, there's only, like, I, I think there's, like, seven wiz wizards in the in the Lord of the Rings, and all the, all the wizards are, like, supposed to be, like, celestial beings <laughs> or something like that. And all named after colors. You have Gandalf the Grey, Saruman the White, and there's, like, the two brown b brothers. I forget what their, their names are. And there's the blue one, I think. And, uh, I, and you see one of the wizards in the movie, in the Hobbit movie, right? Which wasn't he played by Bilbo's actor? I could be wrong. Ra what was his name? Rattle Ref or some some shit like that, right? So yeah, so um, yeah, because because of that, um, so, because uh, Saruman, because um, Bilbo was an idiot, idiot, idiot and revealed the presence of the ring to Sar to S Sauron's forces, right? Um, that, uh, well, first, Gandalf had, to, apparently Gandalf didn't know that, uh, Bilbo had the one ring, right, of, one, the one ring of power, so he had to go and confirm its, you know, its existence, right, so he comes back, he confirms that it's actually the one ring, right, so he... So Bilbo leaves his possessions to Frodo, his nephew, right? And he he leaves his possessions to uh to Frodo, his nephew, and he makes a uh, Frodo uh Gandalf because he can't trust himself with the ring, right? It can even corrupt, like, wizards. Oh, um, corrupt wizards. Hobbits are known for being pure, uh, pure-hearted, so he has, like, you know, uh, Frodo take the ring, uh, to Alron, right? So they can have, like, a meeting and to figure out what to do with the ring. While that's going on, they meet up with Strider, who's actually Aragorn. Uh, a descendant of Isildur, who is like, who who is like exiled from Gondor for whatever reason. I forget why. Um, I don't even know if they ever mention it, right? And you also meet like Arrowin, uh, right? Who are are one party members, obviously, bet uh, you know, based off Arrowin, right? So, so, yeah, um, yeah, so, like, they go, they go to the, to the meeting of Elrond, uh, you have this huge meeting with the, with the leaders of the, you know, the, the races of the free folk, where you have Gimli, uh, <laughs> uh, Gimli shout, like, Rossus's things at the, at the elves, right, and which you would think... The elves would be the most, would should be the ones who take the ring to Mordor to destroy it because they have to take the the ring to the fires of where it was forged because it's unbreakable, right? Oh, she's going first. Gift of Elrond. Loud. Okay, how much MP does she have or whatever? Yeah, let's save it. Okay, murder of crows. That guy, that orc can do magic. <laughs> Could orcs do magic in the in the movies? I don't remember. Right. Uh. So, so yeah. Obviously, there they 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 um they form the fellowship of the ring. Also, like some of like uh, Frodo's friends came along the way. Merry Pippin and uh, Sam. Right. You have, like, 
The elf archer Legolas joins the, f the fellowship. Gimli with his axe. Boromir with his, like, you know, who's, who's like, the son of the ruler of Gondor, right? Who, Boromir was one of my favorite Lord of the Rings characters because we had this, uh, in grade school, right, we had this, uh, fr French teacher who was obsessed with Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter, and she would make us, like, give us all nicknames that from, she would all name us after characters from Lord of the Rings and, um, and Harry Potter, and, and I was Boromir from Lord of the Rings, and I was one of the, the brothers from, one of the, uh, Weasley brother, brothers from Harry Potter, I forget, I, there, I, I forget if I was Fred or the other guy, but yeah. Right. Critical hits. That's good. Yeah. So um, they go on this journey, right, where they have to go through these cursed mines, fight the cave troll, uh, uh, goblins, and cave trolls, right? Um, which that scene was. Uh, if you ever watch Record of Lotus Wars, they the first episode. They is very is almost like very much like based off that the the Mines of Moria scene from like the Lord of the Rings books, except for fighting like except for them fighting, uh, except for them fighting like a fire demon called the Balrog, <laughs> right? Which I love that the you have like the Balrog. Uh, Gandalf fights the Balrog, right? And you don't see the part part two of that fight until like the second movie, where you find out that uh, that like Gandalf didn't actually die in the movie, <laughs> right? Yeah, get, there's like there's a scene where they think Gandalf die, dies, right? And they go to see like the Gadriel of the Wood Elves, and they're like, "What the fuck? The journey's." This fellowship is done for without Gandalf, right? Which they 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 piss on. What the fuck are these dwarves? You fight dwarves? Oh, they're wild men. I thought they look like the dwarves from the Hobbit movies. <laughs> oh my god. Are they wildlings? Oh my god. We're fighting wildlings from Game of Thrones here. <laughs> What the fuck? I should heal up. Oh my god. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, the, the movie ends with, um... Our characters, Frodo and... Sh Fr Frodo and, um... Samwell, uh, leaving the party because, you know, Boromir... Is corrupted by the uh, ring. It wants to take it and use it to defend against, you know. To, uh, oh shit, she's dead. Do I have any? Okay, I have one. Ah, fuck. Can I use items? Oh my. Oh my god, it barely did any health. So I'm probably dead. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. One ring to rule them out. <laughs> yeah, so the, par the party splits up after a uh, orc attack, right? I did not save. <laughs> yeah, I did not save. <laughs> Fuck, you know. Uh, let's try to get the Lord of the Rings thing on there. So, yeah. yeah um, I, know, I really enjoyed the movie. Obviously, this is a classic for a reason, right? 
You got beautiful cinematography, great music, right? Um, the humor is, is okay, right? It's obviously a little dated, right? Because the books were written around, what, like World War One or something like that? Which J.R.R. Tolkien fought in World War One. I. I still haven't seen that J.R.R. Tolkien movie. I heard it sucked, right? Um, yeah. Um, I did have some problems with the story, right? I wasn't a f fan of, like, uh, Frodo. I thought Elijah Wood's acting of Frodo was, was a bit much, man. Like, because Frodo, if you ever watch the animated film, Frodo in there, like, in that movie, was a bit more charismatic, you know. He had, like, genuine leadership skills, right? He, he seemed capable. Here, all Frodo does is, like, you know, whine and, and grip, and it's like, constantly looks like he wants to cry in every fucking scene. Man, it, I, I don't know. I fight a lot... It could have been how it was written, but, like, yeah, I was not a fan of, like, you know, um, of Frodo in the film, right? Like, Aragorn, to me, like, I don't know, like, to me, like, Aragorn should have been the main character of the, uh, of the series, right? But that's kind of a problem with the main story, like, not necessarily this movie and how it adapts Lord of the Rings, right? Um, yeah, but also, um, there's a scene, like, the final f fight scene of the film where, uh, Aragorn fights, the uh, Uruk Kai, or Kai, or whatever, Hai, um, he, he tackles him when, when he's about to shoot, uh, Sean Bean, right, uh, Bormir, right, and he had his bow in his hand, the next cut, the, the, the orc has his sword in his hand. He doesn't have his bow. So that was like a continuity error. But the, the, that fight scene though was really good. And like you. For like a movie that's like PG-13 or whatever. You get to see like orcs get their heads cut off. And like the orc dude got his like arm chopped off as well. Right. And that fight scene. There's a, there's a cool uh, thing about that fight scene. Where like you know. Uh. The, the orc actor uh, accidentally got to, like, you know, uh, method with his role where he f actually threw a knife at, at Viggo Morrison and it wasn't in the script, it wasn't in the fight choreography. And badass Viggo Morrison <laughs> with his sword deflected it and they kept it in the movie. <laughs> That was actually, like, something that was, like, that that was something that happened in real life. That was not, you know, choreography that they just got. The, the orc actor act actually, like, threw his knife at, threw the prop knife at Viggo Morrison, and he deflects it with his sword. That was such a fucking badass scene. <laughs> Right, which Viggo Morrison, I, I don't know if this is true, but this is something I heard from the French teacher, right? How Viggo Morrison, um, to, to get ready for the role, went into the woods camping and with, 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 a, with a horse and a sword and was wearing that same outfit, right, as Aragorn in the movie, right? Who's called Strider at the beginning of the film, right? And he got really method with the role, right? Which Viggo Morrison uh, was great in the movie. It kind of sucks we never got a lot of, after the Lord of Rings movies, we didn't get a lot of, like, action movies with Viggo Morrison. He did Hidalgo, which I watched, and it was a pretty good movie. And he also did uh, Ala, Ala Triste, which is, like, a movie, a Spanish film about this, like, you know, like, um, uh, novel character, right? Like, a, uh, he's like a character from, like, a Spanish adventure novels, Captain Al Triste, right? Which, uh, was from, like, the 16th or 17th century, right? So he, Viggo Morrison played that role, and I heard that movie's good, I haven't seen it. 
But yeah, like Viggo Morrison was awesome in the movie. And though I kind of feel bad for like Vin Diesel. Because uh, Vin Diesel, like, you know, uh, uh, auditioned for like um, Aragorn, right? And he, re he, he was a. For people that don't know. Vigo, uh, sorry, Vin Diesel is a huge Lord of the Rings D and D guy. <laughs> he has like a t tattoo of of his D and D character on his chest, which is based, which is based off. Uh, I think he said he named the character after a character from this Sumerian or something like that, which is a character based off like you know a character. Uh, that's in, like, a Lord of the Rings book, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I really enjoyed the film, and obviously it's a classic for a reason. I'd give it, like, you know, 9 out of 10. There's a reason why Lord of the Rings films are considered the best of, the, like, considered the best fantasy films. And there's a reason why, for a, for a little while, everywhere, anyway, when people were revealing, uh, sorry, uh, referencing, like, you know, a trilogy, referring to a trilogy, they were talking about the Lord of the Rings trilogy, <laughs> not, like, Star Wars, right, <laughs> which I, I made the mistake of, uh, watching that scene in Clerks 2, where, like, Ra uh, Randall Graves, uh, made fun of the Lord of the Rings, uh, so hard that he made a nerd puke <laughs> on the counter, <laughs> Man, that scene was awesome. Yeah, so I, I, don't know, I really enjoyed the movie, guys. And, like, the extended cut, um, it starts off a little slow, but, you know, once the Fellowship, uh, once the Fellowship forms, the movie, uh, uh, the movie picks up, right? Though I do think, like, you know, it's all Bilbo's fault. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I, I enjoyed the movie, and I, yeah, obviously I would recommend it. And uh, you can watch it on BitChute if you want. <laughs> but you guys should support the official release, right? All right.